I'm JB, the guy who's always behind that camera. This is Terry Koshan, hockey writer for the Toronto Sun, wrote at the Ford Performance Centre. Uh, it's Leaf developmental uh, time till the end of the week. Uh, Terry, tell us a little bit about what the Leafs have been doing this summer, other than developmental camp. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Well, you know, Jack, uh, Pierre Engvall signed a one-year contract on Sunday, and that leaves one outstanding restricted free agent in uh, defenseman Rasmus Sandin. I think it'll get get done at some point, just a matter of when. But, uh, you know, as of right now, that's all Kyle Dubas has left to do in that regard. Although we could probably see, uh, we're probably expecting a trade to come down the uh, pipe at some point as well. Sure, Sandine, a great player on the back end. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been maturing, so yeah, he'd be a good, good, good addition to sign again, right? Oh yeah, for sure he would. And you know what? Uh, first round pick from a few years ago. They're not by any stretch of imagination giving up on him now. They keep talking about how he and Timothy Milligan are big parts of the team's future, and uh, I expect Sandine to get done fairly soon here, Jack. Sure. With Dubas, a lot of people feel that he may have painted himself into a corner, you know, with all the money. We know about all the money, how he can't sort of move things around. Do you, right. do, do you think he's done that, or is there something coming down? Well, there, there is a corner, no doubt. It's how he gets out of it. I mean, as of right now, depending on how you look at it, the Leafs could be as much as $1.5 million over the salary cap, with Sandine still to go. So... Is that, do you trade a Justin Hall and his $2 million cap off the blue line? Do you trade Alex Kerfoot and his $3.5 million cap hit from the forward group? There are some decisions to be made, but, you know, as much as Sandine is last signing that's going to happen, Jack, something else has to happen. Another domino has to fall to get that space. And not only that, Kyle Dubas wants to be in a spot where he has a bit of a cushion under the cap, you'd think, heading into the trade deadline. As of right now, he doesn't, he's not even close to that. I think that's a thing that every manager around the NHL would like to have is more cap space, yeah, right? Of course. Uh, with your developmental camp, uh, we got uh, blue and white squad going, maybe about 40 guys out here. Anything you see in this group, or is this just a developmental camp? Well, the one guy that we're all watching is Matthew Nice, who, you know, a draft pick of a few years ago has really stood out already. Uh, a couple scrimmages this week, I would assume that he will. Uh, um, dominate those Jack he's going back to college for another year the expectation is he would join the Leafs at the end of the season a big six foot plus winger that can uh, forward that can uh, do a lot of good things for you so Matthew Nyes is really the guy to watch here and a few other people as well but um, you know I would expect that in the scrimmages he's going to be the standout. Right on I'm JB the guy from behind the camera and this is Terry Cochan with the Toronto Sun.